Hello, MATLAB programmers. One of my students was asking, can MATLAB help with calculus? And MATLAB is great for scientific computing. Engineers, mathematicians use MATLAB. So yes, the answer is yes, it can help you with calculus. If you want to double check your answers that you've done on paper by writing a MATLAB program, you can do it. So I'm just going to start with an example of integral calculus. And first, we have to really understand MATLAB's ability to do graphing and plotting just to be able to visualize this math problem. So if I want to graph the function x to the power of 4 and I want to look at x values between 0 and 5, how would we do that in MATLAB? Well first I'm going to specify x goes from 0 to 5 and if I run just this, I'm leaving off the semicolon so you can see that's only going to create six points. And a graph with only six points is going to be very jerky. It's not going to be a nice smooth curve. So we need to put a smaller increment between our values so we get more points. All right, so we've got a lot of x values and now we've got the y values that go with them. If you just do x to the power of 4, it's going to give you an error because that um, that uh, to the power of 4 wants a single value and we want to do element by element exponentiation so put a period right before that mathematical symbol and then it'll for every one of those x's take each one of those to the power of 4 and again I don't need to display that so I'll put a semicolon there and I'm going to say go ahead and plot x and y and we'll go ahead and see that graph okay so that's just plotting and graphing but the question was um, what about calculus questions, like the calculus question of what is the area under this curve? And let me move my face out of the way so we can actually see the area under this curve, the green part where we're going from 0 to 5 on the x-axis, and then we've got the function x to the power of 4. How do we calculate that? In calculus class, on pencil and paper, you, would, you may write it with this notation, you're going from 0 to 5, and here's your function x to the 4. And to be able to actually solve that, you end up saying, well, what function would you take the derivative of to get x to the power of 4? And that function would be x to the power of 5 divided by 5. And we'll plug in the values, the upper limit and the lower limit, and plug those into the function and subtract in between. So x to the power of 5 divided by 5, what is that? Minus, and then 0 to the power of 5, this is going to just be 0. And we get 625. So that's the right answer. How could you use MATLAB to double check your answers? So I'm going to get rid of this part and say, well, there's two new MATLAB commands you need to try. One is this SYMS for symbolic variables, and the other is to do the integration INT. So I'm going to add these lines one at a time to the MATLAB program. Let me just move this out of the way. First, I'm going to add this line to say, I don't want just a normal variable. I want a symbolic constant, and I need x, and then something for the function like f of x. And if I run just that, um, nothing new is happening, except you may get an error message, and I'm going to um, talk about that later. But let's assume that you've installed the add-on for um, that has this available and now you can specify well what is the function that you want to deal with and we don't really need this graphing part above I was graphing it just so you could visualize it so I'm just gonna delete that and we're gonna start right here saying here's our function and now how do we integrate well I'm gonna store the result in area so because it's the area under that curve and I'm gonna say I want to integrate and use this function and I want to integrate using x with the minimum value of x being 0 and the maximum value of x being 5. And I'll leave off the semicolon so it'll print that answer to the screen. And it does give me the same answer of 625. Now one more thing, if you get an error when you're using either one of these functions and you're not able to do, you probably won't even be able to do help on either one of those functions, um, then you might get an error message that looks a little bit like, 
Let me show my last PowerPoint slide. Looks a little like this. So if you get something saying um, this Sims requires symbolic math toolbox, then that means that you need to install an add-on. So MATLAB is so big that you don't always want to install everything it has to offer. And some of it, they let you install it only if you need it. So if we were to go to this website, we can get information and we can install um, this app. So if I click on the link, I'll put it in the description of this video, then it'll take me to the MathWorks site and I'll be able to download the Math Toolbox. And um, looks like you can get a free trial download or maybe your school or your company already has a license and you'll be able to download it without paying. All right, have a great day.